Hey guys, this is Ben back with you in the model shop and uh, we've made a whole bunch of progress on the USS Independence. The last time we talked, uh, I was talking about painting the airplanes. I was having some problems trying to make decisions about what colors to uh, paint the dive bombers and uh, I had a lot of assembly and things to do. Anyway, in between the last video and this one I made a bunch of progress. Basically all of the ship's guns are mounted. Um, and painted and detailed. Uh, I did a little bit of weathering on the side of the hull and uh, made some major major progress on the assembly of both of the air wings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the camera around here and show you everything that's done and kind of talk about what's been accomplished and what we're doing next here. Uh, sorry for the sorry that I got so much done in between the last video and this one. Alright, here we go with the USS Independence uh, with guns and air wing and all sorts of everything kind of already installed here. Uh, I guess we could start, look back here, I got the radar dish installed. It hasn't been spray painted yet, but um, it is installed. I don't know if you can see right here. Uh, I did put a little hole down there so that it would it makes sense you could see where people would climb up those ladders to take a look at the radar dish. Um, got a lot of airplanes. Let's move up to the bow here. Got one of our five inch guns. There's some little 50 calibers underneath there. Uh, this is our radar director and uh, some bofers. These are kind of pointed up in the air at you. This is that section of deck that I said needed to be matched with the hull, or I'm sorry, the regular deck. I was able to do that. I just mixed up some deck gray and a little bit of white to merge it in. Same thing over there. You can see they, they match nicely. More directional finders, more bofers, some ladders. It's the only place where there's 450 caliber machine guns right next to each other. And only one over there in a directional finder. One of the bofers, see if we could zoom in without it getting... Give you an idea of what's going on there. Some more 50s. Another bofer area where people could jump off. Got some SBDs, or TBFs going there. Alright, let's talk about airplanes here. Here's the Wildcat fleet. Intermediate gray. I've On these four, I have the tail decals on and the first US uh, insignia. On the remaining eight, I have to put the insignias on still. And then they get numbered. Um, Going back to the front here, here are our uh, SPD dive bombers. Let's take this one here. So I was talking about struggling with color issues last time. Couldn't decide what to do. Ended up going with intermediate gray, the exact same thing as the um, Wildcats, because it ended up looking just great. Um, I don't know if you can make out here. Did a little bit of weathering on the front uh, with some pastels to show like the engine exhaust. Uh, let's see how well that's showing up. There we go. And you can make out a little streak there. Just trying to keep everything to scale. Um, mounted the 500 pound bomb, or actually I think that might be a 1000 pound bomb given how huge it is. Got our landing gear bay painted green there. We'll go ahead and I've painted up the landing gear and there's a little piece that uh, is the bomb guide just you know, so when that these things were diving the propeller was spinning and the bomb would be slung out underneath the propeller so it doesn't hit. Uh, I'm going to experiment with putting that on. It's a pretty small part in the wheels. The bomb is painted white. I'm not going to weather it because you know these are going to end up sitting on the deck kind of like that and no one's really going to be able to look underneath and see but these things are turning out really awesome 
Um, speaking of the deck here, I decided since this is starting to get a little busy, I, I, I don't know how this is looking. I'm trying here. I got some uh, crew figures painted and put up there. Um, we'll, we'll see. I Hopefully that looks alright. I've been trying. I want to get as many people on here as, the, as I can. So, let's talk about the uh, SPD dive torpedo bombers. TBF torpedo bombers. Man, I get these all backwards all the time. These are the TBF torpedo planes. Sorry. Alright, so you get six. And... This one, for example, is going to be folded with the wings folded closed, so it doesn't take up a lot of room. Uh, this one, the wings open up. Three of them can have the wings in the deployed position, and three of them can be stowed. That's the only parts you have. Or, all six can be wings open. Um, so you can see here, I went ahead and installed a torpedo in the torpedo bay. That's an individual part, and then the torpedo doors open. That is also two individual parts. Uh, the idea is we'll, we'll post a few, the wings folded like they're loading the torpedoes up. This one, the torpedoes in it, uh, the doors are closed. Um, I think what I'll do is have, they have individual loose torpedoes, so like this one will have just been finished, and I'm going to see if maybe I can have a cart, I'll make a cart or something where they're loading up the last torpedo on one of the three. Um, that's kind of the idea there. Let's see if we can spin this around. Alright, here's the back of the ship. Five inch gun. Two uh, 50 calibers down there. I don't know if you can see behind the 50 on the left, there's an open door back there. I kind of like that. flight deck. Let me get the uh, ship turned around here we'll look at the starboard side. Alright, here is the starboard side. Got some guns put in there at the directional finders, a little bit of weathering. We'll put figures all along here. This is the uh, back side of the radar. You see this kind of a complicated mess, so we have to paint that still. Here is the uh, starboard side of the bridge. We've got some figures up over here. Crane, more bofers. Come on, let me get focused. And uh, moving on the bow and up here, there's you can see the 250s mounted there as well. So, looking good. Plan is to keep moving on here um, with our airplane fleet. I. Uh, <laughs> I did this without showing you guys, but um, I don't know if you can make out here the blue to white transition. That is all airbrushed. Uh, I airbrushed the bottom and top of the plane and I masked the differences off with Silly Putty. Well, there's a good jet exhaust, or sorry, just regular exhaust on that one. Um, so anyway, Silly Putty. So that's what is going to be the deal with these guys because they're actually going to be three-toned. Uh, we'll use the intermediate gray in the middle, white on the bottom, and like a dark sea blue for the top for the three colors on these guys. Then we'll work on finishing up our figures. And again from here I think you can see this is a good example of how the deck right there and right in here I was able to blend it into the regular wood deck and it ended up looking really nice. So um, I'm going to keep plowing away at the decals here. Um, these guys will probably be finished first. Landing gear, propellers, uh, extra bomb beat detail. Then keep going. All 12 Wildcats are here. And then we're going to plow away with our uh, torpedo planes at the back end there.
I think I don't know, I haven't decided where everything's gonna go yet. Okay, that's all we've got for now. Um, just a quick update. I'll I'll come back when we've got some more uh, more things finished up with the with the airplanes. I think. All right. Thanks for watching.